Hi, uh, in this video, we'll talk about how you can send automated WhatsApp messages from Zoho CRM using Wati. So uh, to use this feature, you will need to make use of the workflow feature within Zoho. You click on settings on the top right corner, click on workflow rules. You can go ahead and create a workflow rule here. Let's say we're deciding to send a welcome message to all the new leads. So I'll put the name of the world workflow as welcome WhatsApp new leads. Once this is done, you can decide the record action. In this case, I'm selecting on lead creation, which means whenever a lead is created, this rule would be executed. We would want to send a message to all the leads. So I can uh, click on all leads. And then over here in the instant action, I can select function. I can decide to write own function. I'll just say send WhatsApp welcome. Use the same function name and the display name. I would create this function. Once this is done, you can go ahead and add some arguments with this, within this function. The first argument that you can use is template name. Uh, the name of the template will be available from Wati. You can What you can do is on Wati, you go to broadcast, go to template messages. Make sure you submit your own template for approval. If you don't know how to submit a template for approval, I'll put a video on submitting templates for approval in the description box below. So make sure you go through that. In this case, I'll just choose this template. I'll add the name of the template here. And then you can just select the user's name. In this field, you can just select the lead's full name maybe. Sorry, the lead lead name I can select here. After that, I think you can select the phone number. You can select the lead phone number. You can either decide to use the phone number field or you can decide to use the mobile number field, whichever you're using on Zoho Sierra. You can use that. You can now save it. Once you've defined the arguments, you need to write the dilute script here to send welcome message from WhatsApp message from Wati. So to do that, you can go to Wati's Help Center, search for Zoho CRM integration. There's an article that says how to send template messages using Zoho CRM. The reason I opened this article is because the code can be copied directly from here. And you can copy this particular code. And in this code, you have to update a few things. One of them is the authorization. To add the authorization on what you have to come to API docs, copy the access token put the access token as it is here. Then you copy the API endpoint and uh, the API endpoint has to be copied here. Once this is done, uh, I think we've added all the other fields. Now you are ready to start testing your message. Also at the same time, what we've done is we've defaulted the country code over here, you have to pass a country code while sending a template message. In this case, we've defaulted to 91. If your number already contains a country code, you can actually get rid of the 91 from here as well. Or you can use a default country code, it's up to you. Now, let us test this API. So, the name of the template was you can find it on Wati. This is the name of the template. I would put that here. I will add my name and I'll add the phone number with the country code in this case. So once we've done that, we've got a successful response, which means the message has been sent on WhatsApp. I, I've also received a message on my WhatsApp, which means it's working fine. Now you can save it and then save. So now you read, now whenever a new lead is created, that lead will automatically get a WhatsApp message and if you want to see the status of the message that has been delivered you can go to broadcast history over here you'll be able to see what the message looks like this is the message that was delivered if a user has read, read the message you'll actually see red status here so I hope this was useful uh, at the same time I would also like to mention that if you would like to make some changes on the script in terms of making sure your phone numbers are in the right format that's also possible what you can do here is Let's say if your phone number starts with something like a, a zero or if there are people who've added a, a country code for your phone number, you can write a script to make those changes as well. So it's very easy. So 
sorry you just say if number dot starts with let's say it starts with a zero in that case you want to probably get rid of the zero that comes first this is the script that you have to write so similarly if you want to do any other kind of modifications so zoho deluge has those kind of uh, functions to kind of help you with that uh, so i hope this was useful if you have any questions feel free to send us an email thank you very much